I mean, it was it was really um, well, it was a lot of stress at the time because the star system was such that you had to work under tremendous pressure. Kim Novak, born Maureen Pauline Novak on February 13, 1933 in Chicago, is an iconic actress whose timeless beauty and captivating performances have left an incredible legacy in Hollywood. Rising to prominence during the 50s and 60s, Novak became known for her distinctive screen presence and versatile acting abilities. Her journey to stardom began when she was discovered by Columbia Pictures talent scouts while working as a model. Signed to the studio in 1954, she quickly rose through the ranks with her breakout role in Picnic in 1955 opposite William Holden. But it was her collaboration with Alfred Hitchcock in Vertigo that solidified her status as a cinematic icon. Facts First presents Kim Novak is 91 years old. Take a breath before you see her now. But on the other hand, he knew his business. He knew what he wanted. He knew the kind of films that should be made, and he knew how to get his results, and mostly by putting fear into people. Really. Early career. Kim Novak's illustrious career is a testament to her enduring talent, versatility, and magnetic screen presence. From her breakout roles in the 50s to her continued impact on cinema, Novak's journey through Hollywood is defined by iconic performances and memorable characters. One of her earliest successes came with her role in the romantic drama Picnic, directed by Joshua Logan and based on the Pulitzer Prize-winning play by William Inga. In the film, Novak portrayed Madge Owens, a small-town beauty queen whose life is forever changed when a handsome drifter, played by William Holden, enters her world. Novak's performance captivated audiences and showcased her ability to convey depth and vulnerability on screen. Alfred Hitchcock changed Novak's fate when he cast her in Vertigo in 1958, which became the film that catapulted Novak to cinematic immortality. In the film, Novak delivered a dual performance as Madeline Elster and Judy Barton to women inter intertwined in a complex web of obsession and deception. Her portrayal of the enigmatic Madeline, haunted by a mysterious past and mesmerizing allure, is widely regarded as one of the greatest performances in film history. Her ability to embody contrasting characters within the same film demonstrated her range as an actress and solidified her success as a Hollywood icon. Following the success of Vertigo, Novak continued to woo audiences with her diverse range of roles. In the romantic comedy Bell, Book, and Candle, she starred opposite James Stewart as a modern-day witch who casts a spell on her unsuspecting neighbor. Novak's bewitching performance added charm and humor to the film, further showcasing her versatility. In the romantic drama Middle of the Night, directed by Delbert Mann, Novak delivered a poignant portrayal of a young woman navigating the complexities of love and age difference. Her chemistry with co-star Frederick March resonated with audiences and earned her critical acclaim for her nuanced performance. Her filmography includes notable roles in The Notorious Landlady, Of Human Bondage, and The Legend of Lila Clare. While not all of her films achieved the same level of critical and commercial success as Vertigo, Novak's presence consistently elevated the material and left a lasting impression on audiences. She was also recognized with several prestigious awards and honors, including a Golden Globe for Most Promising Newcomer, Female, for her role in Picnic, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her influence on popular culture remains enduring, with her iconic performances continuing to inspire audiences and filmmakers alike. Kim Novak's Later Career in the later stages of her career, Kim transitioned from her iconic status as a leading lady of the golden age to explore a wide range of roles in film and television. While her later career may not have reached the same heights of acclaim as her earlier work, Novak continued to captivate audiences with her talent and presence on screen. One of her notable later film roles came in Billy Wilder's controversial comedy Kiss Me Stupid in 1964. In the film, Novak portrayed Polly the Pistol, a sultry and seductive woman whose presence disrupts the lives of two small-town musicians. Her performance in Kiss Me Stupid showcased her comedic timing and willingness to take on unconventional roles. In The Amorous Adventures of Maul Flanders in 65, she embraced the role of the titular character in this romantic comedy drama based on the classic novel by Daniel Defoe. As Maul Flanders, a spirited and resourceful woman navigating the perils of 18th century England, Novak delivered a performance imbued with charm and wit. Continuing her exploration of diverse genres, Novak appeared in the comedic western the Great Bank Robbery, directed by High Averbach. 
In the film, Novak portrayed the alluring widow of a deceased outlaw, adding a touch of romance and intrigue into the ensemble cast. Novak's foray into the realm of supernatural horror came with the television movie Satan's Triangle in 1975. In this chilling thriller, Novak starred as Ava, a mysterious woman aboard a ship haunted by supernatural forces. Her performance added gravitas to the suspenseful tale, further showcasing her ability to captivate audiences in any genre. In the romantic drama Just a Gigolo, directed by David Hemmings, she shared the screen with David Bowie and Marlene Dietrich in her final feature film role before taking a hiatus from acting. Despite mixed reviews for the film itself, Novak's presence added a dash of Hollywood glamour to the proceedings. While Novak's film career may have slowed in the later years, she found success on the small screen with a recurring role in the popular TV series Falcon Crest. In that primetime soap opera set in the wine country of California, Novak portrayed Kit Marlowe, a mysterious and enigmatic woman with a troubled past. Her performance added intrigue to the show's ensemble cast and further endeared her to television audiences. Beyond her work in film and television, she remained active in various artistic pursuits, including painting and poetry. Her passion for creativity and self-expression continued to define her legacy as a multifaceted artist. I loved my father. I adored my father, but it terrified me. <laughs> he was a fine man in his way. He was a tough man. I loved him, <laughs> and I hated him. But I loved him more than I hated him. At 91 years old, Kim Novak now leads a quieter life, prioritizing time with her loved ones and close friends over the spotlight of public appearances. After decades in the entertainment industry, she's earned the right to enjoy her golden years surrounded by the warmth of family and cherished memories. Her life today is a testament to resilience and introspection. In recent years, she's been open about her struggles with mental health, particularly her diagnosis of bipolar disorder. This candidness has not only helped destigmatize mental illness, but has also provided comfort and inspiration to others facing similar challenges. Her willingness to share her journey reflects her strength and authenticity. Authenticity. In reflecting on her storied career, she has not shied away from discussing the challenges she faced, including her experiences working with Alfred Hitchcock. Despite their collaboration yielding one of her most iconic performances, she has spoken candidly about the pressures and difficulties she endured while working with the renowned director. From feeling objectified to grappling with his controlling demeanor, Novak's insights shed light on the complexities of navigating Hollywood's male-dominated landscape. In her quieter moments, Novak finds solace in her passions, including painting and poetry. Surrounded by the love and support of her family and friends, Novak embraces each day with gratitude and grace. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Kim Novak? Let us know in the comments section below.